It's hot, it's too hot. I'm miles from anything. I've got about a litre and a half of very, very warm water left. So we are officially starting the GR131. I stayed in a hotel just outside of Maspalomas because I didn't fancy staying in Maspalomas because it looked a bit like a shit. So I walked back towards the trail this morning, grabbed some supplies, a bit of bread and cheese and a spa and then now on this sort of dusty gravelly path. It's a bit of a fly tip zone. Um, I've heard that this is the less nice end of the trail so I'm kind of glad I'm starting here because I'm guessing it can only get better and this isn't even that bad to be honest. Great! Can't see a fucking thing. So the first section out of Maspalomas is kind of grotty. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, it's just sort of one of those things that wherever humanity is, you know, it's a bit, not really what you do it for, is it? And you know, you get off the road and you get onto a gravel path and people have dumped stuff everywhere. There's little kind of piles of fly tipping and empty water bottles, but gradually we're sort of making our way to kind of nicer bits. There's some nice caves and some really, lovely cacti. It's getting better. It's very hot. Don't do that. It looks well shit. My next port of call is Ayagueras. Um, I'm taking cover under the only bit of shade that I've seen all day which is a sort of meagre shrub but boy do I love it right now. It's hot, it's too hot. I'm miles from anything. I've got about a litre and a half of very very warm water left. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit and then carry on. <laughs> I've just come all the way down there. I think I've actually taken the wrong route and I think I was supposed to take that left hand fork over there but I didn't. I thought this way looked more punishing so. Okay so I've now got to try and get to Ayagueras by 6 because there's a bar there that closes at 6 and I'm not sure if it opens again and apparently they do non-alcoholic beer which I would just devour, so I've got more of an impetus to get a shuffle on. I've been stopping so much, but it's so hot. They are closed, but as they were closing up, they let me have a beer. What a day. I am so the plan is to get some food in Ayaguaras. Um, there's a restaurant apparently a bit further down. It stays open till 10. So I'm going to go there, have some food, charge my phone, get some water, and then I'm going to hike a bit further up. Apparently there's like a pine forest, um, which is a much nicer camp spot than the car park that is my other option, which is just around the corner. Morning, second day, uh, obviously got to Ayaguaraz, had a big meal, got some water and then hiked another couple of miles up past the reservoirs to sort of start that piney, piney forest bit. And uh, set up the tarp 
and it was windy as hell so took the top down and just cowboy camped. Just taking it a bit easy today. Got like a short day. I think it's about 12 kilometers. And I booked myself a hotel just outside of Tunte because last night was quite a lot and yesterday was a big day. So I'm gonna just get my stuff together and see what happens. I can either combine the next two days or just take my time. But the trail's already getting much nicer. There's more flora and fauna. It's a bit cooler today, I don't know. It's only like half nine. I'm up before the sun, so we'll see how it goes, but I don't expect it's gonna take me too long to get to Tunte. God, it's so good to smell things that smell nice. Because I smell like absolute dog shit. The walk's like quite tough, it's quite uphill, but it's much nicer. But the sun's just coming up now, so I wanna get moving before it gets unbearable. Cruel, cruel joke. Just a word of warning for anybody that wants to do this trail, bring water like three liters a day if it's hot because there's nothing on trail. This thing behind me is dry. Another tap further up is dry. This is a short day, but man, this trail is dry as hell. Cat just does not give a shit. Well, good morning. Another day in paradise. We are leaving Tunti way too late. Just couldn't get out of bed. Didn't want to get out of bed. Uh, nevertheless, we've started. Got loads of water because it's gonna be blisteringly hot today. I'm absolutely cursing bringing a puffer jacket and a fleece and even a sleeping bag, like, could just easily drop those. But we're here day three and we're starting with a big old climb. It's quite nice being on a Camino I didn't know there was one in Gran Canaria. The only other Camino I've done is the Camino Norte. So I'm adding a section of this to my list of Caminos. Don't want to speak too soon, but this is much nicer. I don't know how hot it's going to get today, but it just feels like a bit more fresh, a bit cooler. Give it a couple of hours when the sun's fully up and it might be much worse, but just the path and the greenery and the flowers are just really nice. So yeah, just stopping, having a, a feet airing. And I'm only an hour into the trail, so who knows, but it smells really good. It smells like peppery. It's like Star Trek or something around here. Well, this is just getting really nice, isn't it? It's just so pretty. There's enough of a breeze to keep it not too unbearable. I think I've, I'm nearly at the top of the climb, so after this, it's all downhill. I've got loads of water, loads of food. 
happy place. It's genuinely like walking through some kind of Martian landscape. And everyone says that, don't they? But it is. Lads, this is prime, prime walking. I can't tell you how beautiful it is up here. It's so nice. This has totally won me over. I can't get over how pretty this hike is after like two quite punishing days this is just one of the best sections of hike I think I've ever done I guess I gotta go up that. So we just left Artanara and just feeling good. So I think I'm gonna crack on until Tamadaba, which is about 10 more kilometers. It's sort of really light still. I've got water, so I can do dinner and breakfast. And I think I'm more likely to find a good camp spot. If not in Tamadaba, then en route. And uh, it's all downhill. I'm sure I've said it's all downhill so many times, but I genuinely think it is all downhill. morning so I did I got pretty damn close to Tamadaba there wasn't a ton of sleeping options kicking around so I just grabbed the first place which happened to be on top of a rock um, I'm pretty sure I put a hole in my sleeping pad though so I have to repair that when we get back it got really windy this morning and quite cold <laughs> so I'm so glad I brought my sleeping bag um, it kind of uh, vindicated that decision. Getting my stuff together and watching the sun come up. And uh, then it's 15 more kilometers and then we're done. Um, yesterday was one of the best hiking days I've ever had. So I don't know if, if today's gonna be able to top that, but. Either way, it's going to be nice knowing that I can just drink all my water and eat all of my food and, you know, just enjoy it knowing that there's going to be a bed at the end. God, I look forward to having a bed.
This last section of the trail is quite punishing. Like really rocky downhill sections that are just killing my knees. About 5k to go, so I'm just plowing through and just trying to enjoy it as much as I can because after this it's a couple of days in Las Palmas and then back to the grind, baby. Go hey, little bud. Go, go, go. Bit windy. <laughs> Just fell into one of those fuckers. This path is really not letting up at all. I'm absolutely fucked. So there we have it, the GR131 in Gran Canaria. Didn't do a great deal of filming in Agueti because the last bits of the trail were kind of punishing. I was sliding around all over the place because I think my shoes are a bit knackered and the wind that comes up off the sea is just brutal. So I got to Agueti, grabbed a cervezas in alcohol and then just jumped on the next bus to Las Palmas, which is where I'm at now just relaxing and eating and sitting down a lot and having great cold showers. Thank you very much for joining me. If you've got any questions about the trail, write them below and I'll try to reply to everyone. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio. Bye.